where we start with the blank is we design the board on our computer first and it's a CAD program, computer assisted design and so it's like hand shaping a board but it's it's really accurate method because you're drawing everything on a screen um, using mathematics and really accurate system so that it's consistent each time. I'll bring it up on the computer and then depending on who the board's for I'll adjust it and customize it, change any part of the board um, to tailor make it for the particular person. And then uh, once that's done, it's saved on a disc, like like this, just a floppy disc. And um, some people ask me, well, how come, that's kind of old school, how come you don't use a, a CD, ROM, or, or something like that? And um, there's a lot of dust in a surfboard factory when you're, when you're cutting the boards and around the machine things get scratched these hold up really really well to the dust they're really durable so um, and, act, and the computer file itself the cut path it's called that the machine reads when it cuts the blank out it actually isn't that large of a file so it flip, fits onto the floppy disk which is another reason we can use this but uh, then once it's designed the file is taken to the DSD machine, which stands for Digital Surfboard Design, and the software and the machine were designed at the same time um, together to work in conjunction with one another. And the file is read by the machine, and then it's a um, three-axis machine, which means that it cuts in three directions. So it basically covers every, three-dimensionally everything that. Um, that the computer file is saying. The machine reads that and cuts it out and it uses an abrasive cutting head to abrade the foam away. And, uh, and it's basically your finished board is in there from the thickness flow of the board, the outline, the, uh, the rocker that I talked about. And then after it's cut on the machine, then it goes into my shaping room and I finish it off just with a, a block, a sanding block and different grits of sanding paper and take out the, uh, the ridges that are left over by the machine. And basically the finished board is the bottom ridge that's in the cut blank. So I just take off those high spots and then I turn the rails, the, the, uh, the, the round part of the board, the outside of the board. And, and uh, I put the rail shape in and that, that's probably the most important part of the fine tuning process because the rail, there's a lot of different types of rail shapes and the rail makes, contributes to how the board moves through the water and different types of boards utilize a different type of rail. And then uh, last of all, after you take out all the ridges with the sanding block, you scrub the whole blank down with a foam rubber pad and a piece of drywall or sanding screen again and it just pulls all the scratches from the sandpaper out, makes the whole board seamless. And, uh, and then you take down the stringer, a piece of wood that goes down the middle of the board, and you use what, what's called a, a miniature planer, a little miniature hand planer, or a uh, spoke shape. And so after you screen off the blank and take all the scratches out, then you, the last thing you do is you bring that stringer down to the level of the, of the foam, and use a spoke shape for that and then you mark the fins on the bottom, the, where the fin placement is going to go. Then I sign the board, put the dimensions of the board, who it's for, and a serial number. And, uh, and that's pretty much it.